ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ ದ್ವಂದ್ವ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದು ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನ ಮನು ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರ್ವಶಿಪಾಸಿಂಧುಭವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೇಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಮುಖಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಲಂ ಹರಿತ ಗಿರ ಯತ್ ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂ ವಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾರೋ ಬಿಂದಾವಿತು ಸೇತ್ವೈಕ್ಯಾವೈಕೇಶಿ ಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವ ನಮೋ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನಮಂಚನೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವೀಂ ಸ್ವರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋಜಯೋ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋಪರಣ್ಯ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದಂ ಶಿವ ವಿರಂಚನು ತರಣ್ಯ ವೀತ್ತಿಹಂ ಪುನೋದಪಾಲಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರಣಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವಲಕುಚಂದಮನಿಚ್ಛತಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಮೃಜೀತಮಿಭೂಷುವರ್ಷಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸುಸಾಗರ ಸಾಗರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನೇತನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತವರ ಶಿವಸಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನೇತನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತವರ ಶಿವಸಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೋ ಕನಕಾಪುದು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನ ಕುಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಚಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರು ದ್ವಿಜವರು ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೋ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾವತಾರೋ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೇ ತವ ಪಾಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿಭಕ್ತಿಂಚ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಾಸಿ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯಟ ಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿತ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣೋ ಪ್ರಿಯಮನಂಗುಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ತೆ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಗೀತ ತ್ವಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ರಾಮ ಆರಾಧಿತ ಜದಿ ಹರಿಸ್ತಪಸ್ತಸ್ಕಿಂ 
तपह किं नाराधि यदि हरि तपसा ततः किं अंतर्बिर् यदि हरि तपसा ततः किं नातर्बिर् यदि हरि तपसा तत किं आराधी यदि हरि तपसा ततः किं नाराधी यदि हरि तपसा ततः किं अंतर्बिर् यदि हरि तपसा ततः किं नातर्बिर् यदि हरि तपसा तत किं गौरी गोष्ठी होती गौरी गोष्ठी पति श्री शिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपात परमहंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट नॉर्मल पीपल टू गिव देम एंजॉयमेंट एंड टू गिव सेटिस्फैक्शन टू भगवान एंड दैट काइंड ऑफ रिलेशनशिप यू आर मेकिंग विद भगवान इट इज नॉट ऑल द सेम कौड़ गोष्ठीपति शिशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती को स्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमहंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट टू गेन टू गेट द सेटिस्फैक्शन एंड एंजॉयमेंट ऑफ अ नॉर्मल पर्सन एंड टू गेट द सेटिस्फैक्शन एंड टॉप मोस्ट रिलेशनशिप यू आर मेकिंग विद भगवान दैट काइंड ऑफ एफर्ट्स वेन यू आर मेकिंग इट्स नॉट ऑल द सेम द फर्स्ट पॉइंट दैट इज एक्चुअली अ भक्ति एंड द सेकेंड पॉइंट विच आई टोल्ड रिगार्डिंग भगवान एंड गुरु वैष्णव दैट इज भक्ति द श्लोक विच आई हैव स्टार्टेड विद दैट इज दैट इन श्री नारद पांच रत्र दैट श्लोका इज देयर शीला प्रभुपाद ऑलवेज यूज टू स्पीक द श्लोका दैट इफ भगवान इज गेटिंग सेटिस्फाइड इफ इज भगवान इज गेटिंग सेटिस्फाइड दैन एक्सटर्नल विच आर ऑल तपस्या एटसेट्रा दिस काइंड ऑफ ड्रामा इफ वी विल शो वॉट आई कैन डू बाई दैट दैट इफ भगवान इज एनी हाउ भगवान इज नॉट सेटिस्फाइड विद मी दैन वॉट इज द यूज ऑफ डूइंग तपस्या एंड ऑस्टेरिटीज एंड फाइनेंसिस वॉट आई विल डू बाई दैट यू टेल मी दैट बाई डूइंग ऑस्टेरिटी एंड फाइनेंसिस वॉट इज द यूज ऑफ दैट इफ भगवान इज नॉट सेटिस्फाइड एंड आवर इन साइड एंड आउटसाइड that uh, in this material world that in our outside material world that inside what matter is there all the time if bhagwan is there all the time if bhagwan is there inside and outside us that inside and outside all if we can see bhagwan we can see bhagwan inside and outside all the time if we can but we see bhagwan inside our heart then by seeing showing posterity and penance is what i can do in that you tell me and if inside and outside any how that kind of darshan of bhagwan is not at all coming there is no place for the darshan of bhagwan that that what i will do by showing a drama of that this is actual big question that top most question is that that's why the prabhupad used to speak that hari katha hari bhajan in the name of hari katha hari bhajan those all those material people they are actually making them uh, foolish that in front of them that's to get cheated by them that is the actual now the modern civilization that divine, divine dispensation is that that this whole kali yuga is doing this only they want to get cheated in each and every uh, uh, hair follicle in each and every follicle there is corruption there up till that uh, that in uh, each and every where corruption is there whole world actually if you can see then there that actual sadhu to get his association is very very difficult to get very very difficult to get the actual association of a sadhu that's why deep prabhupad with full uh, regretful mood and with full pain inside his heart used to speak that's why shila prabhupad always used to speak with full pain inside his heart that nowadays in this material world that hari katha kirtan in the name of hari katha kirtan 
those people who are actually cheating whole material people that in front of them that to get cheated by them that is the present uh, yoga dharma of this present society what to do in that you tell me nothing we can do at all the first point is that that in kali kal that there is no other procedure of bhajan no kind of uh, 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 only by naam sankirtan only can one can get the actual uh, kripa bhagwan tulsi das ji also shri tulsi das ji also speaking this speaking the thing regarding naam sankirtan shri tulsi das ji maharaj ko swami shri guru tulsi das go swami speaking the same point he is quoting the same thing from uh, uh, ramayan and in bhagwat ji mahapurana also in the third skanda it is a third canto it is written that if you can split it up then if you are actually making it right re- reading it then what will be the meaning neho means na eho sandhi it is actually connected with sandhi na eho that karma is of what use you tell me that karma is of what use you tell me that that actual uh, actual uh, goal is not dharma and ultimately vairagya that it is not targeted on vairagya that we don't have that target of vairagya you understand the point what i'm speaking that with this one more connected shloka is there then only you can understand it quite fairly that karma that vidhan is up till that point karma you can have that uh, that shastra vidhan is up till that point in the vedas also you have i have all the time speaking this shloka that persons the bonded jeevas who are doing karma and someone speaking that what do you mean by karma maharaj to to do something is karma according to biological science or scientific explanation yahi maan that is the actual meaning the whatever we can do that is karma but the vedas what the inner meaning which is, is explained in the vedas the actual vichar of the shastras that actual on the basis of the actual shastra vichar according to that the actual meaning is that that in the vedas that what actually is being uh, written what is actually indicated in the vedas vedas it means that what is indicated in the vedas that karma that actual karma that all kind of instructions that just to follow that is actually called just to follow that is called karma you understand the point so karma that ordinary in that conception going on in this ordinary material world whatever they can do that is actually called karma that is actually karma no whether they are taking wine that is also karma whatever they do they are eating whatever nice or good bad they are eating that is karma but according to the shastra vichar that karma that is actually karma that which is going according to the indication of the vedas that what actually is indicated in the vedas what actually being told in the vedas that is to do that is called karma and do not to do that it is actually called a karma and to do opposite of what is indicated that in reverse that he is not at all doing it what is written in the vedic shastras 
that what actually written in the Vedas, he is not at all following that. And at the same time, he is doing reverse. That whatever written in the Veda Shastra not written there, that Maharaj what to speak, that whatever he can do, like dogs and cats, like madness, like foolish idiot he is doing, like beast and birds he is actually doing. That in uh, Bhagavad Ji Mahapuran also, that it's already written there. And in this material world, they are actually so much getting entangled in this material ocean. They are actually entangled so much in this material ocean that you can't even imagine that. That in this material ocean, in material misery, they are actually so much entangled that you can't even imagine what to speak. All actually they are seeing, this whole material world is actually anitya. All actually are firing or cutting them, whatever they are doing on their own. Some wife actually is going with some other person, that some person actually kidnapping an other person, all murder, this, that actually going on. But just by seeing this condition also, still, that kind of um, thinking we are not at all getting, that in this material world, that no permanent thing is there at all, no conclusive thing is there at all. Just by seeing the actual condition of this whole material world, so much getting kicked up, still by getting kicked by Maya Devi so much, just by still after that also, that kind of consciousness is not developing, that this Maharaj, this material world, nothing is there. What is there in this material world, you tell me. Srila Bhakti Thakur in, this, in his Kirtan always speaking, Shila Bhakti no Thakur in his Kirtan writing this. Which kind of sansar you are actually speaking? What actually is there? What is there in this sansar? You tell me. That this is one kind of magic spell. In this so much kind of affection that kind of an affection you are actually connecting for infinity period I am actually moving but still I am not at all getting that kind of consciousness this actually is the Kripa of Bhagwan that our Trinandi Bhikshuk that just have seen the whole material world that yes Maharaj nothing I have, I have I have seen everything that I have seen this material world what it is nothing is there in this at all that the Trinandi Bhikshuk in his life that kind of realization has come that whole vichar with full realization it has came Bhagwan today he is actually very much happy on us. So much happy, so much satisfied, so much happy that today only that in our life, in the first time that this material life I am actually getting rugged off of this material world. What to speak more? Detachment, full detachment has come towards this material sansar. Nothing I can do. This kind of realization I am getting today. That's why he is speaking Atma Shainu means that this, this is actually one kind of enemy it is considered. This is actually considered one kind of one enemy. Sajanakshadakshu. This in Bhagavatam it is written. So, here actually it is written. This all Atma Parijan, this boy, boy, male, female, all, all actually grandfather, grandmother, all actually are connected with this. All actually are enjoying, that's it. And that's why in Bhagavad Gita Mahapurana actually it is written in the second canto. Deha 
आत्मो सैन्यु असत्सुपी तेषा प्रमत्त निधनम पश्यन अभी न पश्यन देखे भी देखता they are actually not at all seeing it also after seeing whole this condition still it is uh, being unseen kishor sansar ei chaya baji pray dhyate mamata kori ya mitha de to maine bata so i have already told you that this neho yat karma that kind of karma that kind of karma that is not at all considered karma at all that which target is not at all dharma and that dharma is actually not considered dharma that whose ultimate target is to to develop vairagya in sanyas jiska bare mein that about in the second shloka i have already told you na karma ne kurvito javat no nirvidyo ta javat tavat karma ne kurvito no nirvidyo ta javat mat katha di shobana di shu अप टिल आवर हरी कथा कीर्तन दैट माई हार्ट इज नॉट एट ऑल गेटिंग इन वोल्ड इन दैट माई हरी कथा कीर्तन इन दैट माई हार्ट इज नॉट एट ऑल गेटिंग गेटिंग ड्राउंड इन दैट ओशन ऑफ हरी कथा एंड कीर्तन एब्जॉर्बिंगली माई हार्ट इज नॉट एट ऑल ड्राउंड इन दैट हरी कथा कीर्तन ओशन देन गो ऑन डूइंग कर्म यू गो टू योर हाउस एंड डू योर कर्म you should go to your house and do your karm you take you do marriage take some uh, you just make some children that is actually more good but that kapat in kapat situation if you are coming then you are coming in front of guru vaishnav in the drama doing of guru vaishnav of hari bhajan and you don't want to do anything at all in the name of seva so what to do that definitely he will get spoiled definitely definitely he will get destroyed it's already written nothing can be done at all because that kapat bhav is there no so what to do for him you tell me that karm is actually not karma which is at least general conception of dharma at least general conception of dharma what is that general conception of dharma that is that in order to i can't i can't uh, i can't cross that that kind of dharma arth kaam and moksha that i can just cut it completely that is actually called karma but bhagavad dharma that definition is totally different that the, its definition is totally different of bhagavad dharma its the the definition of bhagavad dharma is so why means nishchit definitely 100% parum dharma that is parum dharma that ajokshat bhagwan on to his lotus feet when we are getting topmost bhakti if we are not at all getting then what is the use you tell me that by which that atma is getting the top most happiness that is actually called bhagavad dharma so the general definition of bhakti what is actually being told that by the avalamban of that the vedas the actual instruction of the vedas rules and regulations just by taking the support of that you are just going ahead and in this material world that dharma arth kaam moksha that all normal things that you are actually busy in getting that this is not the major things to get that dharma arth kaam these are actually useless like stool and urine he is actually dharm why that by doing dharma he can get arth and by arth what he will do that arth he will be doing dharma hmm. so it will be going like in cyclic order so what he will be get he will be getting more material bondage he will be all the time this material bondage will go just in cycle like order it will go that's it infinity time it will go on then what to do so that's why actually it is written here that dharma actually is not at all dharma that by which 
that uh, my vairagya etc that ultimately is not at all getting uh, in uh, getting inside me that's why bhagwan in regards to this by in gita he is actually making us careful that don't need to speak this kind of siddhant vichar to anyone that if his if he is up till this now present situation is uh, what is there according to that he should uh, go that what is uh, whatever is his present situation now that you, he just need to go by that if you will be just making him uh, the, he will not be doing karma or uh, whether he will not be doing a karma also because knowingly and unknowingly was the material bonded jiva whatever he is knowingly or unknowingly whatever he is doing that maybe his that akarma and vikarma if he can do karma then it is still good because he is going according to the vedas that is actually good to do and ultimately actually it is being spoken and by which that tirtha pada tirtha pada who is who, who, who it is that vaishnav gun all those are tirtha pada tirth each and every tirth that is topmost krishna charan that gauranga charan nitanand lotus feet gaurang gaurang's lotus feet if tirtha pada means that guru vaishnav actually is considered here that whose whose place is actually the lotus feet of bhagwan that's why it is called tirtha pada that actually he is just in a living condition he is actually dead those who are actually not at all doing seva of your guru vishnu and bhagwan means that that your karma if your actual goal is uh, for not at all considered for dharma and that dharma actually is not at all getting that vedas according to the vedas you are not doing that that kind of dharma definitely gonna by that dharma if you are not at all doing seva of your guru vishnu and bhagwan that if you are not at all doing tirth pada seva then definitely he is actually in his living condition is considered dead that maharaj he is in his living condition also considered dead that is the actual point that thing is actually considered as a animal that whose heart is not at all attached to the seva of pure guru vishnu he is actually considered as beast and gokaran ji maharaj also speaking the same point to his father atmadev what kind of instruction is giving that oh father you see one thing i want to tell you that this sansar actually is temporary in nature that you just realize this point the first thing the first step is that only that this material world is temporary you just need to realize this point first that is actually called the first step towards your bhajan that in this material sansar while you are living that if you can realize this point that this material world is just of 1 to 2 seconds fraction of seconds it's going to destroy so that okay whatever be the point <coughs> gokaran ji maharaj actually is this first instruction is this only and after that and after that so nicely actually being spoken you see the very nicely it is being spoken and after that 
And after that, what to do? That Bhav Bhakti Nishto means it speaks being spoken that to, to serve pure Guru Vaishnav after that. <coughs> that kind of karma that kind of uh, that kind of karma will be removed completely from your heart nothing is there in this material world nothing is there in this material world whatever kind of money fame position whatever he is having whatever however he is poor that all kind of one condition is there And after that, what is it? Why kind you are actually busy in foolish th- things? Why actually you are uh, busy in foolish things? That kind of material, general dharma, Vedic dharma, that kind of um, samaj dharma, all kind of dharma, you just need to kick it off. That what gopikas are doing. They are just kicking all kind of general dharms. Everything they have left that gopikas what they have done that's why it is being spoken here that dharma that you just need to follow that actual dharma only what kind of dharma that atma dharma you need to follow and realize that bhagavad dharma you need to realize and follow that only you just need to follow that is actually instructed in the vedas and shastras That kind of general thar- Vedic dharma, Lokic dharma, every dharma you just need to kick off, kick it off. So definitely you will get some kind of dosh, no, no, no dosh you will get. Bhagwan himself actually promising you, Bhagwan himself promising this point to us, what he is speaking. That Bhagwan himself actually speaking this point. Bhagwan is promising himself. So why actually you are uh, uh, feeling neglected? Why you are actually getting fearful? That Sadhu Guru Vaishnav, we just need to serve them because. That already been written there. Nothing is there to do at all. And so the point is that that bonded jivas without any kind of uh, rules and regulation if not imported on that, that which are won't come into them. That material bonded people, they are actually having that enjoying mood all the time inside them. And whatever kind of uh, things they want to do on their own, then definitely topmost amangal will come in their life. That if someone actually is doing according to themselves, then only amangal they will get in their life. That's it. That uh, it is more better apart from that. That Shruti, that Shruti and Smriti, that kind of dharma and adharma, that uh, kind of distinction and uh, distinction is there. Shruti and Smriti about that that is actually okay at least that for those people that kind of Shruti and Smriti that Smriti Dharma and Adharma that kind of uh, uh, division of the karma is actually done in the same way what to do in that that is the point For those people, that kind of swarup is already being exhibited by them. That those are already established in their swarup dharma. That kind of 
consciousness they have developed that their own swarup they have already uh, already got their own swarup and they have got the knowledge of their swarup that they are actually vigya that for them that kind of shastras that kind of rule regulation it is not at all required for them at all that much is not at all required that's why shrutis that atmarati krishnarati that sevya seva that kind of instruction is already written in the shruti and in the vedas different different kind of uh, adhikari all according to their uh, standard that kind of different different instructions are given in the vedas so those who are actually full of uh, confidence that are actually coming in the category of vidya so goswami prabhu that the he that kind of uh, he is uh, speaking not to get into dharma or adharma both neither dharma nor dharma don't get busy with both of them at all that for pers- those persons the one instruction is given that do don't need to see dharma or adharma that you just need to take the uh, seva of uh, radha govind under the guidance of pure guru vishnu or under the guidance of pure gaur nityananda under the guidance of gaur nityananda then only you can go to yugal sarkar radha govind why you understand the point it's written in kirtan that nitanan prabhu if we can get the topmost mercy of nitanan prabhu then we can get the topmost kripa of pure guru vishnu to get the kripa of nitanan means to get the kripa of pure guru vishnu that whatever there in the sadhan in the life of a sadhak that whatever is required whatever kind of uh, prayojaniya work is there is required for your seva purpose in the sadhak life in the life of a sadhak whatever kind of uh, eating sleeping drinking to speak and to take or take something and to give something whatever they are doing in the life of a sadhak whatever is necessary that to maintain that kind of things that it should be diverted and should be given on to the lotus feet of gorang mahaprabhu it should get uh, just for the actual seva of shri gorang mahaprabhu and yugal sarkar it should be used under that that in varnashram nist uh, stage that maharaj in varna varnashram up till what point it will go that varnashram dharma that kind of dis- division up till what point it will go that maharaj that in the paraman stage if he is not at all getting then up till that point it is good that for paramans people that whatever kind of uh, strict rules and regulations that it is not at all uh, applicable on them at all for paramans guru vishnu so varnashram nishta uh, stage that varnashram nishta stage that what is written in the vedas it's all written the different different kind of uh, uh, the different different kind of rules and regulations that that to apply to to link each and every action with bhagavad that is an important point grihe seva sadan purva dhan dhanyadi sangraha just to collect money and whatever money you are getting from external source and to maintain your family and to just maintain or different different kind of activities that it definitely you just need to divert it towards the gauranga seva and just to think that i am the actual servant of bhagwan that any kind of activity what you are doing you need to connect it with that that i am the servant of bhagwan and guru vishnu that whatever kind of karma that you just don't need to think that you are doing that that kind of karma whatever you are doing that kind of uh, 
thinking should not come that i am doing this that kind of false ego should not come at all and and just to do the yugal sarkar seva or shri gaura gaur nitanan seva you just need to focus on that all ka- different different kind of karm with this kind of thinking you just need to do that that is actually good shila sachidanand bhakti no thakur speaking very nicely regarding this that jivas that they have their own jivas they have their own have their own enjoyment for their own enjoyment jivas for their own enjoyment inside their heart that kind of enjoying mood is there that they are actually becoming uh, diversified from bhagavad bhajan and just in order to get the material enjoyment that for infinity period they are actually going into this cyclic order of birth and that for infinity time period because of this enjoying mood shri chaitanya charitamrit also it is written that uh, that your own enjoyment for your own satisfaction and enjoyment because of that that jeev atma for infinity period they are actually getting away from bhagavad bhajan and they are actually getting uh, involved in this cyclic birth the death and birth cycle and up till what point that kind of enjoying mood of this material world that is not at all getting destroyed completely up till that that the material bonded jivas are not at all uh, destroying their uh, cyclic order of birth and death up till that point any how in any condition that bhagavad bahir mukta that any how in any condition and any condition or any how that bhagavad unmukh bhav that will not at all get Uh, get inside the heart of the jivas that just by lot of sukriti which they have collected previously that infinity sukriti or uh, what they have collected previously what shri tulsi das ji maharaj speaking in in connection to this context that for infinity sukriti when you are collect- accumulating after when it is getting accumulated for a very long time after that that actual fruit will come that bhagavad kripa will come gradually slowly steadily that it will go going inside the jivas and it will just uh, just infinity sukriti when the actual result is that it is actually destroying your material sansar by just by bhagavad kripa that kind of uh, vasana of this material world it is just getting more and more brittle and weak just by the kripa of seva of pure guru vishnu and at that time naturally that more sadhu association of sadhu you just required that kind of spriha you are actually getting just by doing association of sadhu that more and more sadhu sang association you want if it is not at all coming then definitely it is not at all sadhu sang and uh, in sadhu sang and in sadhu sang that krishna katha just by discussing that that shraddha is actually getting inside your heart that shraddha will just get uh, manifested inside your heart under sadhu sang and by all this kind of gradually by gradual promotional procedure more and more more and more efforts when you are putting then by that you are destroying your karma phal completely just by getting the krishna anushilan and pure guru vishnu anushilan that may be that kind of just to get bhagwan in this life that kind of desire will come inside your heart that transcendental desire will sprout inside your heart to get bhagwan this life just to get the get bhagwan that kind of uh, 
feeling is coming up and in that what will happen just to get the lotus feet of pure guru vaishnav that is very much necessary to get that that by taking the lotus feet of guru dev after that the abhidhay tatva you just need to go and on the power of your bhajan that jivas they can get that bhagavat kripa in their life and those who don't actually getting uh, some in their maya mukta avastha in that condition when they are coming that by that bhag- after that that quality of bhagavat kripa for in order to attain that that uh, sadhan that sadhan that kind of jivas they need to uh, get instructed by the sadhana and they need to do the sadhan accordingly and that is very much important they need to follow the sadhana because in order to get bhagavat kripa that the eligibility criteria is that to do sadhan is very much important for the jivas why because in sadhan bhakti i will be just coming ahead that sadhana is a very important and major point in the life of a bonded jiva in order to get bhagavat kripa that sadhana kriya will just get transformed into sadhana bhakti after afterwards that those who are actually very uh, those persons who are very uh, in their life that in bhagavat bhajan they are actually very uh, restless they are not at all uh, active in that those persons in the sadhan kriya they are actually very sleepy that in order to get bhagavat kripa it is actually all useless to get them why because their life is all useless because they are not at all active in their sadhan sadhan kriya that bhagwan is kripa moy is merciful that bhagwan is actually merciful and uh, that topmost uh, mercy he is actually pointing towards uh, all the jivas and he is actually manifesting the shastras and after that bhagwan actually come in yuga avatar manvantra avatar that etc all these different different kind of shakta vesh avatar all different different kind of uh, situation bhagwan already manifesting in front of us he is already manifesting that in front of his devotees bhagwan with different different kind of uh, uh, situation he is actually giving and and in the form of pure guru vaishnav he is actually coming in front of us bhagwan actually coming in front of us in the form of pure guru vaishnav and in the form of name in the form of dham in the name of uh, parikar bhagwan actually is coming all the time just to do kripa on us so that those people that no target is there up like this inside their heart for those people that just by doing sadhya sadhan they are not at all uh, impressing bhagwan they are not all satisfying bhagwan then what is the use of that if they are actually making all the efforts by sadhya sadhan to satisfy bhagwan if they are those people who are not at all doing this kind of efforts then nothing can be done in their life at all so for wo, wo, what people for what types of people go swami go swami mahara go swami ji actually speaking like this this shloka actually ragunanda so swami speaking and at the last they are actually speaking is already being told and in the last it been it is been told that just by seeing the faults of others don't try to look that at all don't try to see fault in others at all don't try to see faults in others at all very nicely actually is being spoken you see because without rasa nobody wants to live at all 
whether he is spider whether he is mosquito or whether he is actually khatmal whether it is he is lizard whosoever it is whether whether a bear or lion whether lion should will be there or bear whosoever is there whatever jeeva without rasa nobody can stay at all everyone need rasa everyone needs rasa even mosquito also mosquito he also wants rasa without rasa nobody wants to live at all that oh bhagwan is actually rasik definitely you understand this that the creation just to get the creation work done that kind of uh, cyclic uh, progression of this creation if you can see that then you can understand that bhagwan is a topmost rasik his rasraj there is one song also it is being released so much rasik bhagwan is just you are actually thinking that definitely bhagwan is rasik full of rasa that's why in the shastras actually it is confirmed it's already written in the shastras definitely be sure that actually it is rasa that is the actual uh, place of the rasa definitely you understand that this is actually rasa that by this all different kind of infinity jeevatmas directly or indirectly they are actually just living on the basis of rasa whether they are taking directly rasa maybe in the form of devotees or by indirectly in the form of maya they are taking rasa they are actually bonded because without rasa nobody wants to stay at all without rasa nobody can stay but the actual address of the rasa that without rasa nobody wants to stay and live but the actual address of the rasa actually is totally wrong there is some mistake in that address of the rasa the actual address rasa is okay but the actual address with without rasa nobody wants to live but that rasa after getting that inside your heart that atma is actually getting topmost happiness that address actually is totally wrong material address is a totally wrong address that kind of address for cross quarter is there that dancing club is there wine beer everything is there all is actually rasa but actual address that nobody knows about that that our nishkinchan maharaj of chandigarh he used to give one example and i just by hearing i used to laugh that mother actually went to take bath and all kind of very uh, precious jewels and gold she is actually putting out and she is actually just taking in taking bath in the pond and one bird suddenly came and taking all the auspicious jewels and necklace they are she is actually taking that but he actually don't know the value of that necklace but and all over the place that uh, maharani that kind of necklace is getting stolen one bird has taken that so if so if someone will get that necklace that he will get this much of uh, money as a gift that much of money i will be just giving that the king actually speaking this to everyone and after that all the four direction where this necklace is of that uh, queen we just need to take and all the city people and village people they are actually running and after that that all the village people they saw that that inside water that the necklace of the uh, queen is there how oh, in the water yes the village in the village people like speaking yes it is there in the water then why you not taking it then again actually he is actually taking a dip in the water again he is not at all seeing that again the water become uh, very quiet and silent and uh, again that one nice mahatma actually going away from that place and he is speaking why so much shouting coming actually the thing is he is speaking to mahatma those village people that our maharani that his necklace is getting stolen where is this necklace it's already in the water he is speaking to the mahatma 
and this uh, mahatma actually started laughing and speaking her a foolish that is not at all inside you see up you see up foolish it is already there on to the branch of the on the branch of a tree <laughs> and all people they are actually seeing up and just taking the nore it's right definitely it is there up and is just in, uh, hanging in such an area he don't know so much uh, light that necklace and so much costlier it is it is just coming into one branch of tree and so much light it is actually is there uh hanging but they don't know and they are actually getting dipping what into water and just finding the necklace that's why <laughs> this rasa that kind of rasa on the basis of that rasa that on the basis of that rasa this whole material world is actually getting uh, fixed onto that that whole material rasa whole world is actually getting fixed on that if rasa is not there then nothing is there everyone is rasik some actually wants to take rasa in wine and someone wants to take rasa in someone else they are actually making uh, may are actually rasik of some other things everyone is rasik someone actually is making of football some of cricket someone is of chess playing chess just to take other sports they are actually having rasik and someone actually having rasik of tennis new new pro quarter they are going and they are actually rasik i have already seen there so much rasik they are going to pros quarter but without ras nobody wants to stay without ras nobody wants to stay nobody wants to live at all but this kind of ras if you are giving in abundance then in your mouth also it is being put but still that it will not at all speak that just stop that this is actually such a bad material ras this ras is so much bad that in abundance if you will put in the mouth of someone then nobody will speak that okay mara don't give more this kind of ras it is that with wife and children we are getting rasa here there are lot of rasa is there so like this everything is going on what to do but there is no uh, solution of anything the actual rasa that in order to get that it is very much important that in upanishad also it is written why we want to stay why this with without rasa where we can get that rasa that are that vatsalya ras that small child also he is in the lap and i already told that this is also one kind of rasa that if the child is actually just uh, uh, making uh, her uh, mother disturbed and that is also one kind of rasa our shila sant go swami mara used to speak in hari katha very nicely bale he is speaking then shrimad bhagwati mahapran that in pralad charitra it is written it is already written by pralad maharaj is speaking that you so much actually everything they are doing with so much pain but still they are getting some rasa why because there is some kind of rasa in that that small child that very nice very sweet voice of that small child is so sweet so sweet that in hari katha what sweetness is there ha eh? some sweetness is there so much sweetness is there in the uh, uh, is uh, in the voice of that sweet child when i can go home and i can sp- uh, hear that sweet voice of my child shila sant go swami mara used to speak this very nicely and this uh, one uh, one 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 tea one tea cup of tea some wife is actually coming then it see that so much pain she is actually doing everything is gone away <laughs> everything is gone everything is gone by taking one cup of tea from the hand of his wife so much whatever kind of prem and whatever that pure guru vaishnav is uh, giving us and when we he'll be just giving us all hari katha kirtan everything but still whatever kind of attraction that i <laughs> he is having with her wife it's not equivalent to that are that is the top most it can be possible that is a top most attraction towards his wife whatever he is doing whether wife is actually fighting with him whether he is actually doing but still she is my wife 
है एंड गुरु वश नो हुर दे नथिंग लेट दम किक दम अवे दैट्स इट जस्ट बाई लिविंग दैम एवरी नथिंग वी विल गेट सो दिस इज द एक्चुअल विचार दे आर एक्चुअली मेकिंग फुलिश नंबर वन सो लाइक दिस ऑल दिस प्योर गुरु वैष्णव दे हैव शोन दैट हेयर वेरी वेरी स्मॉल प्लेस दैट वन नेकलेस वॉज एक्चुअली हैंगिंग देयर इन सम ट्री सो लाइक दिस सेम प्योर गुरु वैष्णव एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग वेयर आर यू वेयर आर यू वेयर आर यू वॉचिंग आनंद है द आनंद एक्चुअली इज अप नॉट इन द वॉटर सो दिस इज द केस दैट इज आनंद इज नॉट देयर डाउन एट द बॉटम इट्स देयर अप on to the tree but nobody wants to uh, accept that what to do that one time in bengali katha i always spoken this point that if i will do this that with bhagwan that with bhagwan that i am doing yukti that all the all the infinity jivatmas infinity jivatmas if i can just uh, everyone actually is going away from this material world so what will happen then nothing will happen only matter will stay there that's it you haven't understood what i want to speak that from plants beast birds insects from everywhere from everywhere if you take up all the infinity jeevatma from your mother father grandfather wife from each and every one from infinity brahmand wherever you all go every jeevatma is actually bhagwan taking it away so then what will be there only matter will be there that's it only matter will be there no and nothing else at all will be there atma is there in each and every object atma is there that's why we are actually feeling so much happiness that atma is not there then we are not at all feeling happiness we are not at all feeling good at all that whole very nice evergreen all uh, greenery is there and so much anand you are feeling now that you will be feeling well when there will be no atma so but that the actual anand is somewhere else it's up that the actual place of anand is up that is golok dham so they, and apart from that no place is there of anand at all so like this this vichar if you can make then only that gokaran ji maharaj actually speaking the right thing to his father atma dev that if you are doing uh, the bhajan of atma dharma you have to do that that is very much necessary to do anna sado sukuna chintanam asamukta pada jivukai sama that bonded jivas they have this natural behavior that they can just find faults in others their own faults they won't be finding at all they will be finding faults in others this is the actual work duty of the bonded jivas that they will be just finding faults in others that bonded jivas they have this uh, thing only they will be finding faults in others where just that it's in shrimad bhagavad ji mahabharan in chaitanya chaitanya charitamrit seva katha raso that bhagavad seva that kind of actual rasa nitram means that abhiganam that uninterrupted rasa transcendental rasa non stop way you can get if you can't do anything in that after that that to do the seva of yugal sarkar radha govind that is not a normal thing at all so so very uh, very surprising this point is that one khatmal one mosquito he needs new new kind of blood to drink and our sadhu sang is the same like that like khatmal just like he is staying in the and all the pure guru vaishnav are just uh, lying on the bed just they taking some rest they are actually just sucking the uh, transcendental blood of their body and even the mosquitoes they are actually also taking the blood from the body of this aprakrit pure guru vaishnav so this is the actual rules of the whole material world so i actually spoke on this point that varnashram dharma up till what point you will respect that that for whole life 
that for the whole life if you will respect our national okay but if you won't do that those who are already vaishnav that they will be no, not at all following our national and they are doing all rubbish then definitely they will uh, go down their consciousness will fall down so all those vaishnavs they are also under the guidance of varnashram dharm definitely externally they have to put respect but the actual thing is that that this in this material world still when you are living that all those paramhans they cannot they are not at all in this sansar externally they are in this material world only but they are outside this external world like a boat where to go boat definitely will be in the water only boat where it will go that boat will just run in on the land the boat will definitely will run on water what is the point so this is the thing we need to understand the boat will boat will definitely stay in water but if uh, the water will stay in the boat then the boat will just drown down that that if water will stay in boat then the boat will drown and if the boat is in the water there is no problem so this which are actually you just need to make that those who are actually doing the seva of bhagwan because to do the seva of bhagwan and devotees that is a topmost respect up till this point also just by the seva of uh, uh, bhagwan shankar bhagwan speaking this point that shankar bhagwan himself speaking this vichar in front of us up till more uh, topmost is the actual seva of the tadiya vastu that to do the seva of devotees pure guru vaishnav that is the topmost so after that in this material world by staying here if anyhow this kind of condition is coming that infinity atmas bhagwan actually is just taking it away then all the things will remain matter that's it they're all like dead bodies that you can see the that male and female dead bodies everything is matter foolish all cattle dogs because they are this all this is all prakriti that just be careful on this point they are all prakriti no they are all prakriti that our body it's all made of five elements all material prakriti that is actually made of prakriti it is not our thing whether you are getting a male body whether female body whatever you are getting whether you are getting elephant horse wild cats birds whatever you seeing dog they are all actually even a very big infrastructural building you can see this is all actually the materials taken by prakriti whatever you can see cement everything actually is made of that prakriti cement everything is there no so it what it is actually it is all prakriti everything is prakriti if some one person actually asked me just be careful on this point i'm speaking some person asked me that maharaj you just tell me this that uh, mother kali why her tongue is out you tell me this point hare i just started laughing why the mother kali her tongue is catching out what is the reason so what is the actual answer of this question if someone wants to speak something or something regarding this the bhagavan shankar bhagwan actually just uh, does by running and actually just running and uh, her feet and her feet mother kali's feet just uh, touched the chest of uh, shankar bhagwan they are speaking like this foolish and x vision and y mission what they are speaking regarding this they are actually just speaking like this foolish siddhant when the jeevas are in bonded state that when they are bonded condition from where this kind of darshanik which are you are getting maharaj you just let me know this i just want to see that from where so nice foolish siddhant you are speaking you have just taking this <laughs> very 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 strange vichar they are making 
the actual point is that the actual point is that that mother kali who is she who is she she is actually prakriti that who is prakriti that the actual bhairanga shakti of bhagwan that bhagwan bhairanga shakti is what is that that antaranga shakti is the shadow it's a shadow of antaranga shakti and antaranga shakti is what that is the actual antaranga shakti of bhagwan is the actual swarup shakti of bhagwan so this kind of thing i have already asked them but no answer is given by the others what uh, the actual answer regarding that shila satidan bhakti mohan thakur actually asked uh, was asked this question that maharaj you tell me that what do you mean by maya and that everyone speaking maya 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 like this they are questioning and they are speaking that what is this maya what do you mean by maya just let me know maharaj at that time shila bhakti mohan thakur speaking this point what he speaking what bhakti mohan thakur shila bhakti mohan thakur speaking that bhagwan's that swarup shakti is actual shakti that is antaranga shakti the actual swarup shakti that outside that swarup shakti that which it seems that some shakti is there you can feel that but that shakti which uh, the actual swarup shakti is not at all there it is just his existence is not at all there if uh, swarup shakti is not there that is actually called maya De- maya shakti that bhagwan's uh, swarup shakti antaranga shakti is actually swarup shakti and uh, that swarup shakti of bhagwan that outside that shakti if some kind of shakti is, seems that some shakti is there apart from swarup shakti that is actually when antaranga shakti is not at all there it is just losing his own existence that is actually called maya shakti this already being told first bo- firstly what is spoken here now actually i want to speak the actual answer now you just understand this point what i want to speak this chandi uh, part this in chandi part it is there this is chair in chandi part that whole material world what we are seeing that what kind of all uh, material anand that anand you can see this is all actually being uh, at uh, is uh, being uh, decorated by maya devi that by the actual will of govind that uh, creation maintenance and destruction is busy in all these things that kind of shakti chaev is just like a shadow that shakti that is the actual maya shakti now the mother kali her tongue is why it's out the actual answer i want to give this that maharaj the actual tongue is out of mother kali because mother kali she just by cutting her tongue she is speaking that oh jeevatma you foolish don't do all this kind of madness for what kind of enjoyment you are doing i am everything i am prakriti myself you are actually enjoying me what you will do of enjoyment you are thinking you are enjoying me you will uh, be just doing enjoying with your wife that is me only that your body that everything everything is me only that uh, you want to just uh, do the bhog that uh, whether someone can do the actual association of or enjoyment of my mother kali that i can speak one story you will just get very much uh, surprised by hearing in delhi in one mat i will sp- that uh, not speak the, the name of the mat in delhi 
in Delhi one mutt one uh, uh, external means from Tripura one person was there that one devotee is there I can't speak devotee he will be just he is just a named titled work that's it and he is from one, one Punjab one boy actually has some uh, work in Delhi that after that he is becoming he is actually sleeping there and that boy what he has done that in his body he just climbed up and he just want to associate with and everything there is noise and he just get up and some fighting take place and after that it was shown that he has that kind of uh, disease you understand the point he has that disease I don't want to speak the name it's like that I I already know this point also that that Apoor Ramani like at the time in the at when actually she is dead that uh, that uh, one person just wants to get association with the dead body of a female so you can see that Bhagavat Maya is so much uh, uh, so much dangerous that even Shankar Bhagwan also is not at all speaking anything Shankar Brahma nobody can uh, do anything they are not at all uh, opening their tongue in front of Maya Devi so much uh, nobody has this kind of courage to get uh, come in front of Maya Devi nobody has that that's why Bhagwan speaking you see nobody has this kind of courage that they can just get victory over Maya no one has that Nobody that my my Maya nobody can get victory over that. Nobody has this kind of uh, uh, eligibility to do. If Maya Devi actually uh, Swarup Shakti is doing kripa on us, then only we can get victory. Otherwise not. So I want to speak this point that Mother Kali, that is actually Bhairanga Shakti, and Antaranga Shakti. If I'll speak that Katyani will come, that Katyani Swarup will come in Antaranga Shakti. Bhairanga she is actually there in the form of Mother Kali. So Maya, Mother Kali, actually just by cutting her tongue and speaking, Oh, Jeevatma, foolish, mad, just all foolish, number one, what you are actually enjoying, what you are actually enjoying, what, what everything is me, you are enjoying me only, whether you are taking wine, whether you are doing, whether you are seeing a naked dancing of a prostitute, whatever you are seeing, that just by you are actually taking nice nice uh, things to eat everything is me matter 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 enough of it nobody wants to speak that nobody wants to speak that that enough of it that's it i don't want and if some person actually just thinking this point that i will be enjoying this that i want to see the end point of that enjoyment that i will be busy in enjoyment only and at the last that kind of end point of that enjoyment at the last point i need to see that end point but this is it just one kind of symptom of a mad person why because why because by karma that karma cannot be destroyed at all by just enjoying karma, that kind of karma will not at all get destroyed at all. It will just increase more and more. It is not at all possible that it will get decreased. I have given one example that one firing firing fire. If you will be giving more and more ghee onto that, that the fire will be just igniting more and more by putting ghee onto that. and it will go on increasing so whether Maharaj whatever you can take whether the kitchen is actually empty okay you can go into the kitchen and eat but but I will I am not at all uh, able to take your responsibility whatever you are taking oil jhal and mirchi whatever niceness things you are eating kurja whatever you are eating but I am not at all able to take your responsibility at all. I am not at all that much foolish that's why I am not at all able to give you Diksha at all. That's why I know that nobody will be doing Anugatya at all. 
that each and every action of mine when each and every step our seeing eating sleeping whatever is there whatever writing everything is actually under the anugatya of guru vishnu it is not at all there then then guru vishnu definitely they will not take the responsibility at all the prabhupad used to speak that those who are speaking that uh, i have this independence that i am independent i have my independence so those who are speaking this deep prabhupad speaking that with them i don't have any connection at all those who are speaking this that uh, i have independence of mine i have that independence bha- independent bhav for they should go to home that's it they should go to home this is my request to them they should go to the house and they can do grahasthi that is more better at least by doing that that kind of fire they want to just go into and burn their body that will not at all be done on the lotus feet of pure guru vishnu those who are doing aparad that do will be burning like fire they can't even think of that at all at least they can just uh, get rid of that maybe some day they can get out but for now at present condition they can be saved like fire in fire when you are putting a hand definitely the hand will uh, burn up in the summer season that you can go outside in uh, may and june you will just get uh, burned up or other, otherwise you will get sun stroke and you will die then that brahman with them don't need to make any kind of joking with them in bhagavad ji mahapurana also in the 11th canto in the 11th canto this kind of uh, already that we can see that example in 11th canto of shrimad bhagavatam that bhagwan he knows but still he is not at all doing the actual thing he knows everything just by the will of bhagwan this is the actual plan of bhagwan this is the actual planning of bhagwan everything that this dwarka was is all they are actually fighting with each other and they are joking with each other and with the rishi munis with brahmans they have just made joking and after that that they can get they have got that curse from the rishi munis and this whole yadu vansh will definitely get destroyed whether yadu vansh is actually uh, transcendental but this is just one kind of uh, 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 one kind of uh, example they want to show us you want to give us an exemplary example in front of us that is very much important to get the instruction even in one uh, joking just in one joking mood they spoke spoken to those rishi munis whole yadu vansh get destroyed <coughs> that whole yadu vansh just get destroyed just only on one joking you just can see the actual result only one joking the whole uh, dwarka the, that uh, is getting destroyed whole family maybe it is actually leela mahaprabhu already told that vardhyadu vansh dhansh mahishan everything is maya mai this is just by the will of bhagwan actually shown what can be the actual result when you are doing the disrespect of brahman vaishnav just by doing all kind what is the actual far reaching consequence by just having joking with the brahman guru vaishnav they already shown bhagwan himself as an example in front of us so that's why in the shastras it is written that fire our fire sun and brahman all actually are so much full of ignition and fire but that vaishnavan tejyan shidan means vaishnav is so much firing so much ignition is there that even very nice sweet sweet uh, some clever mood you are actually showing and so kapat bhav you are showing with the vaishnav then every person they know every each and everything nothing can ke- be kept uh, ke- nothing can be kept secret in front of them at all they are actually just seeing up till what point they will go they are just seeing that up till what point this uh, jeevatma can go they are just seeing that that's it that uh, just by getting the instructions he is not at all 
uh, th- they are not at all accepting it who is actually accepting you tell me nobody is accepting nobody is there to accept the instructions so what to do so like this is the actual condition what to do so this uh, whole condition is like this only very sorry sorry condition now bad condition nobody wants to hear and accept in the vedas also it is written each and every person <coughs> they are just like foolish they became foolish they become foolish that what is their actual uh, actual target that what is their final siddhant what is that that they cannot uh, they cannot catch that at all Surya means Divya Surigan that they can see past, present and future easily they can see these people also that Divya Surigan also they are getting attracted they are also getting attracted oh that is actually called that in the Vedas that what is not there in the vedas you tell me that you can th- you can uh, accept dhanur veda ayur veda it's in there in rig ved and you can it's also in in the vedas you want to uh, uh, learn music that is also in the vedas everything is there in the vedas everything is there in the vedas so, to worship also that is also in the vedas and uh, that the uh, top most yagya also you are giving in atharva shakha that is already there that bhai ravan already has done that kind of yagya all they have done that mayavi yagya so they solved it there in the vedas so the actual nishta of varnashram dharma to just throw it away it's not a normal person if somebody wants to become a tyagi or a renounced person then they can just go to house and they can just go and just do sa grahasthi and that that kind of condition is coming then only they are coming back otherwise they won't be uh, understanding that they are actually kapat from inside what to do so much uh, this kind of courage false courage they are having that without actually uh, uh, asking they are doing lot of things so those persons those who don't have anugatya at all when each and every uh, each and every uh, speaking drinking eating walking whatever you are doing is all controlled by pure guru vaishnav under their anugatya then only in in uh, coming days he can do bhajan but he is not at all nobody is there to uh, accept this all why because they don't need bhagwan at all why they are not at all ready because they don't need bhagwan no they are just coming like that only what to do they don't have any connection with bhagwan at all they don't need bhagwan they, with bhagwan ah, okay that's it with tilak mala they will be doing and just doing hare krishna hare ram that's it we speaking like very nice enjoyment they are doing that's it they are just actually taking a false uh, anand of bhajan <laughs> and all those transcendental people they are also taking anand of bhajan that uh, material people that they want to take the enjoyment out of bhajan but transcendental people they also want to take uh, enjoyment out of bhajan there is also infinity difference between this kind of two enjoyment what i told so whatever be the case in the vedas actually it is being spoken that all kind of activities that is actually b- this is the actual siddhant vichar that in the house and grahastha that all kind of job and all activities you are doing all kind of land property everything it should be just getting connected with bhagwan it should when you just need to connect everything with bhagwan it means that such for satisfaction of bhagwan only you just need to do that do that that bhakti vinod thakur also actually is written in the kirtan 
एंड एज शोन एज प्रैक्टिकली इन दिस कीर्तन that we are actually doing your seva whether whole whether job wife whatever children it is all for you only i am ठाकुर ऑलरेडी स्पीकिंग दिस पॉइंट सो भक्ति ठाकुर एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग दिस एवरीथिंग इज फॉर योर सेटिस्फेक्शन आई एक्चुअली आई एम एक्चुअली डूइंग एंड आई डोंट हैव एनी काइंड ऑफ इंडिविजुअल एंजॉयमेंट एट ऑल रिगार्डिंग दैट आई डोंट हैव माय ओन इंडिविजुअल एंजॉयमेंट एवरीथिंग इज फॉर योर एंजॉयमेंट एंड सेटिस्फेक्शन that karm bandhan that kind of karma bondage that kind of desire if you are having that i have done why i am actually not getting this this karma and karm phal definitely gonna put me away from actual bhajan pure bhakti from infinity birth they will be just ruining me that's it that day birth after birth they will be just putting me into uh, this uh, out of realization of bhagavat tattva that mother kali that's why actually is putting her tongue out and just cutting her tongue and speaking this uh, what you are doing you foolish this is all me this is all me what you are enjoying prakriti everything is me only what you are actually enjoying you tell me this whole material world whatever kind of object whether you are nice nice like almonds whether wine whether cashews whatever it is there whether like bhujiya also if it is there that kind of enjoying mood if you are having then definitely you will gonna spoil yourself that whole material world if you will be just it should be channelized for the actual satisfaction of bhagwat seva with all proper adjustment with full proper adjustment you just need to get the yukta vairagya gains at you but up till this point that infinity millions of birth it will go if some nish kapat person will speak that maharaj that so much uh, uh, in north india then north india i just went uh, in uttar bhang that place i went one mother she is actually i will not speak her name because i i don't know her name also that who i know only who, who is her disciple and he is speaking very big big points to me as if so much uh, prema she is having for pure guru vishnu huh. and so much prem they are having and after that i can understand that she is actually material material enjoyer that's it she is a material lady she is material lady huh. she is material enjoyer so this is the case each and every person speaking that i am a devotee and after that he is not at all shakt he is not at all devotee he is non devotee typical non devotee is every person is speaking that i am devotee that tilak mala very nicely i am doing hari krishna hari ram but after that you can think that this is not at all devotee is typical non devotee so much stuff this is that inside is heart to get inside that siddhant which are inside his heart is not at all possible for me to imbibe so that varnashram dharma to just leave nishta out of varnashram that is not a normal thing at all not an ordinary thing varnashram dharma if nishta is actually gone away then definitely he is actually going on to that paraman stage and for paramans people that varnashram dharma is not at all obligatory to follow that at all you understand the point that raghunath das goswami pad he is actually speaking this point only for whom they are speaking for those people that those who actually are ready to do hari bhajan for others he is what he is speaking he is not at all speaking for others at all who don't want to do hari bhajan what to speak you just tell me for other people that those who persons who don't have that thing our param puji vat keshav goswami are used to speak this point that object which is not at all with him that from there that object in order to get that that kind of desire you are having that is actually the actual uh, thing of a person of a kali 
that he that ragun ragunu ka ruka pura bhakti how you can get from here you are actually just wasting your life that's it no that thing is not at all there with him but still you are actually running away and taking that from that person that object is not available with him what to do you just go into fire just burn yourself that object which is not at all there from there that same object you want to take that from where that object is not at all there it is just one kind of madness that's it this is all madness that's that's it nothing else and ragunath das go swami pad he is not a normal ordinary person what he can speak for an ordinary person you tell me that i just remember one story that in the whatever is there in the whatever is there in the lap of that person up that he can that i am actually coming to take something that you have that rice in your lap so you can give me that if you are in your lap that uh, wheat is there you can give me wheat if whatever is there in your lap you can give it that no whatever capacity you are having that you have money then only you can give money that's it that those what you are having in their lap they can give that much only according to their capacity you just tell me so so this one uh, story i just uh, remember in vrindavan all the time i used to always used to see that at the bank of yamuna at in keshi ghat one very nice set businessman he is actually giving nice nice kambal to all the uh, sadhu sadhus and he is just distributing all the uh, nice nice kambal to sadhus and all the uh, nice nice sadhus coming there and one sadhu is there he is actually is taking the kambal and in the first instance and after that again in the second instance he is again coming to take the kambal that sheet cold sheet and that businessman speaking are again this again is already taken it and again he wants to take it no 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 you can't get it again then again he has taken that one kambal there at the other place and the person who is actually distributing that businessman speaking the businessman that you already taken that no i won't take give you that no i won't give you at all that each and every person individually i'll give one and one to each one i will not give it to you second why you will not give me to me that sadhu speaking is giving all rubbish to him at the bank of uh, yamuna that sadhu at the bank of yamuna he is actually getting out of the line you just get out of the line that sadhu who is taking the kambal second time and at the bank of yamuna he is speaking all rubbish foul words to him is foolish number 1 ha huh? he is not at all giving me the kambal from where i will take and uh, one mahatma speaking that said ji you see he is actually speaking foul words to you oh businessman oh said ji he is speaking all foul words to you, you see and businessman speaking that <laughs> okay is laughing and speaking i have kambal i am actually distributing kambal he has foul words so he is distributing foul words those what will be having they will be distributing that he has foul words no so he will be distributing foul words and i have that kambal so i will be distributing kambal so whatever what is having they will be giving on to their capacity our ragunath das goswami pa don't have that foolish things at all of this matter material world so and this atma tatva even what is there in the starting of bhajan maybe some kind of instruction will be given to them but ultimately all the instructions what is there that they are actually for nand nandan bhagwan shri krishna that ragunu ka bhajan they want to take that pathway that topmost that topmost vichar is there regarding that nanu means nishchit meva that my am oh my mind just be ready oh my mind just be get ready get ready for that for what so lot of things are there 
the Prabhupada you speak with full pain he is actually in Patravali he is actually the Prabhupada writing that so much Harikatha he has heard so much Kirtan he has done he met so much Kirtan so much this which are speaking now but still after that 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 he is actually going to his father who is just like a demon he is doing the shraddha of his father. So much Harikata he has heard. So much Kirtan he has heard. So much he has done. But after that again he is running for his demon father to do that shraddha. His father already gone. That that kind of uh, de- demonic shraddha of his father is actually gone. Oh Kali Khal, oh Maya, what to do? Lot of time in Patravali Srila Prabhupada actually making very much... Uh, sorry, so much Kirtan I have heard and so much Kirtan I have of Sharnagati, Kalyan, Kalpatru, so much Harikatha I have heard, so much, so much uh, Shraddha was there but now he has actually just uh, left me and gone away to do his uh, demonic father Shraddh. So maybe that I am actually Asat, that Prabhupada speaking, maybe that I am Asat, I am not eligible, the, he is not at all at fault. Like Srila Haridas Thakur used to speak, no? That Haridas Thakur used to speak that uh, that Gopal Chakravarti is one Brahman. So, in Saptagram, this is actually Brahman. He actually making one, throwing one challenge to Haridas Thakur that I won't be speaking too much long. That if that Harinam can get everything that okay from now either i you just need to cut your nose oh my god in the whole sabbath they're speaking so much challenging mood he's having namachari harida speaking he is doing so much oh aparad he's doing on his lotus feet oh my god what will happen what will happen and after that what happened he is getting a kushed rope onto his nose and so much his nose just got melted and just got melted and just uh, getting uh, getting melted that's it you just see so much kind of challenging mood he's having towards Nishila Namachari Haridas Thakur so much challenging mood he's uh, pretending to have so Srila Haridas Thakur speaking okay why you are actually getting uh, uh, why you are actually getting so much uh, angry with him okay whatever he's spoken he's spoken He has no fault at all. He has no fault at He has actually, his heart is actually full of Tark. That all those uh, Sanjangan speaking that why? Why actually you are actually making uh, angry mood with him? He has no fault. His heart is no confidence on pure Guru Vaishnava. He has uh, the heart full of Tark. So that's why actually it's not at fault. So that's why the Srila Prabhupada, the Prabhupada used to speak this. That I am maybe Asat, I am fallen down. That whatever kind of Asat Sang that association is getting with me because of that. That by just getting my association, he's fall down. So this is my actual fault. I am not at, all that, at that level. Who is at fault, you tell me. That pure Guru Vaishnava in front of them, I am actually here to just... Uh, uh, I want to just enjoy pure Guru Vaishnav. I, I am not at all doing seva of pure Guru Vaishnav. No seva I am doing for Guru Vaishnav. I am actually want to enjoy Guru Vaishnav. And their reputation, that's it. This is our actual uh, role and duty. Up till what point we will go, you tell me. So this is the actual work and duty of ours. Huh? So she, she, the Prabhupada used to speak this. So Harikatha, so much Harikirtan, eh? Sharnagati, Kalyan, Kalpatru, everything after that. But still, after that, they have just kicked me away and left me and they have gone away. So who is actually responsible for that? I am responsible. I am only responsible. No? Who is responsible? Okay, what to do? So after that, when Varnashram Nishta is actually getting uh, left in Paraman stage, after that, that uh, that he is getting the actual identity of his Swarup. He is getting Swarup Siddhi. And Raghunath Das Goswami Path, his vichar, according to his vichar, if I can speak, 
दैट मोर इन डेप्थ विचार यू कैन गेट दैट दैट वॉट इन गॉड या भजन दैट एक्चुअल प्रभुपाद एंड भक्ति ठाकुर लाइन वी आर हैविंग फॉर देम आई एक्चुअली आई एम स्पीकिंग आई एम स्पीकिंग फॉर देम हु आर इन लाइन मीन शिला प्रभुपाद एंड भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर बिकॉज फॉर अदर दे आज नॉट एट ऑल हैबिचुअल टू अंडरस्टैंड बिकॉज शिला रघुनाथ दास गो स्वामी इज जस्ट स्पीकिंग फॉर दोज पर्सन ओनली हु आर इन लाइन दैट सो वर्णाश्रम निष्ठा वैन दे आर एक्चुअली लिविंग एंड सम वन एक्चुअली कमिंग इन गॉड या भजन दैट हीज नेचुरल स्वरूप दैट आइडेंटिटी ऑल द टाइम दैट ब्रजवास एंड एसोसिएशन विद भगवान इज ऑल द टाइम गोइंग अवर दैट सहज प्रेम इज देयर फॉर हिम बिकॉज इन साइड इज हार्ट देर इज नो मटीरियल कंटेमिनेशन इज देयर इफ दैट नो ओशनिक वेव ऑफ मटीरियल मटीरियल ओशनिक वेव इज नॉट एट ऑल कमिंग सो दोज हु आर एक्चुअली जस्ट स्टेइंग आउट ऑफ ब्रज भूमि एक्सटर्नली दैट सम डिवोटी सम डिवोटी ऑफ परम पूज्य बाद श्रवण गोस्वामी महाराज डिसाइपल हैज कम वेरी ओल्ड डिसाइपल इन एटी सिक्स ही गॉट इनिशिएशन फ्रॉम श्रवण गोस्वामी महाराज हरी नाम एंड दीक्षा एंड नाउ ही इज एक्चुअली स्टेइंग आउट साइड ही इज स्टेइंग आउट साइड इन अमेरिका एंड ही एक्चुअली केम हेयर एंड ही इज एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग महाराज हिज फादर दिस मास्टर ही यूज टू लव मी अलॉट ही एक्चुअली हिज हाउस इज इन बर्धमान समवेयर एंड इन साइड हिज हार्ट ऑल द टाइम ही इज एक्चुअली वर्शिपिंग ब्रज भूमि बट नो बडी यूज टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस दैट हिज मास्टर ऑल द टाइम इन साइड हिज हार्ट इज एक्चुअली डूइंग सर्विस ऑफ ब्रज धाम नो बडी अंडरस्टैंड दैट एंड एट द टाइम ऑफ लिविंग हिज बॉडी ही इज स्पीकिंग दैट आई वॉन्ट आई वॉन्ट टू गो टू वृंदावन स्टिल एक्चुअली ही स्पीकिंग यू आर ऑलरेडी इन वृंदावन यस यस यू आर राइट आई एम ऑलरेडी इन वृंदावन एंड आफ्टर दैट ही लेफ्ट बॉडी that swarupat prajvas means that that by swarup you are actually by swarup only to just stay in braj it doesn't mean that his heart is actually will be going away in other place prajvas means that continuously non stop prajvas prajvas means that continuously non stop prajvas it means that that now you are in braj bhumi and now it's half an hour before you are actually just going to radhakund and after that now now it's not in radhakund now in narakund it is just going in narakund that be- sometime before i was there in radhakund and now actually is coming in narakund <laughs> in internet everything i'm seeing all nice narakund so by this nothing will happen at all this raghunath das goswami pad this vichar is there this is an exclusive vichar that is absolute vichar this for normal people is not at all there where normal people can understand this vichar you tell me they can't understand that vichar at all where that braj bhumi transcendental and where this all uh, this people going in into health what to do so this braj bhumi apart from that those who are living externally that in uh, externally they are actually internally with their mind they just need to stay in braj dham and make this vichar up till this point i'll be just giving rest is very much important you what to do i don't have any uh, thing i just have need to start the other katha as well <coughs> so here actually it is written what is written that second vichar we will be doing it tomorrow that sachinandan gaur hari that gurudev and sachinandan gaur hari and nandanandan is the actual uh, own eternal parshad gurudev how we need to understand that because we have that kind of uh, material uh, buddhi material mind towards pure guru vaishnav so to speak is very easy but to realize is very much difficult aradhit jodi hari hi tapashas tatah kim naradhit jodi hari hi tapashas tatah तपकिम अंतर्बिर यदि हरि त 
तपसा ततः किम नांतर बहिर हरि ही तपसा तपस वाचकल्पदर्वश्य के पास सिंधु विवच पतितान पावन भो वैष्णव भ्यो नमो